In a heavily Democratic city, they are long shots for mayor. But the two Republican candidates are still treating their primary like a dogfight, going tit for tat. All these candidates running for mayor, including you, Fernando, should actually ride the subways. There's no subway stop up in Irvington, Westchester, where you live. I've worked my butt off since I'm 17 years old. And I have three homes. And I have a few cars. And I can afford not to ride the subways. There's nothing wrong with that. That exchange coming out of the topic of making the subway safer. Founder of the Guardian Angels and radio host Curtis Sliwa wearing his signature red beret. And Fernando Mateo, best known as head of the Federation of Taxi Drivers. A heated difference in approach came on the topic of bailing out the taxi drivers, which would cost the city an estimated $600 million. I believe that every person that invested in a yellow medallion to support their families and pay their mortgages need to be bailed out. Yang wants to give away uh, income. Fernando Ferrer wants to bail out yellow cab drivers. Where are we going to get this money? We don't have this money. While both candidates admit they've been vaccinated, neither are in favor of providing proof of vaccination. No to vaccine passports. We're Americans. We have rights. Who wants to be carrying around a vaccine passport? Any laws that would force any children or any parent to be have to carry a passport to go into an arena, to go into a bar, or to go into a restaurant. It's a violation of HIPAA. I don't believe that anyone that doesn't want to get vaccinated should be vaccinated. Both Republicans making a point to distinguish themselves from the Democrats, taking jabs at Mayor de Blasio and Governor Cuomo. Mateo even touting his meeting with former President Trump today. And when asked if Joe Biden legitimately won the election. There are many questions about that win. And like a lot of Americans, we are questioning whether he really won or didn't win. President Joe Biden is our president. Vice President Harris is our vice president. The Republicans will have an opportunity uh, two years to uh, take over Congress. The House they have an excellent opportunity to do that. I will be supporting them in that effort. And four years from now, returning to the White House and the presidency. And when asked if they would vote for Donald Trump if he runs again in 2024, Mateo definitively said yes. Sliwa was not as direct and said he would consider Mr. Trump as he would the other Republican possibilities. In the newsroom, I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.